Welcome to In The Know Unveiling the greatness in feels royal you can find the latest in bling merchandise at royalblingshop.com you will find boss lady man of war i am king closing deals with heels faith over fear and all of your designer masks and much much more make sure you go to royalblingshop.com Hi, my name is Kay Reddy. I am the state broker at Southern Realty, Michigan. As a professional, not only do I focus on selling homes, but I create an unforgettable experience for my clients. Have you considered selling your home? Here is why now is the perfect time to do so. The market is at an all time high and your home may be worth more than you believe, but it doesn't stop there. You may be an investor or considering purchasing a home, Give me a call today for your free home evaluation. I can handle all of your real estate needs. Shop Answers Closet, LLC. One of a kind kimono, versatile styling, and easy to care for Christian based online store. You can shop at this closet, LLC, where you will find designs for the woman walking in her purpose. You can contact us at theblessedester49 at gmail.com. Shop at this closet, LLC, for that woman walking in her purpose. So with bridging the gap, what we come to do is bridge those gaps. A lot of times, their people, the children are hungry, and so they struggle um, paying attention in class because of the lack of food. And so what we've done is we've partnered with local school district, local charter school, and different regions to assist in distributing food to those families.
Hey everybody, good afternoon or good evening. It is definitely a nighttime. What am I talking about afternoon? Hey, this is your girl Chantel Michelle and here we are once again with another show in the know, unveiling the greatness in you. I'm so excited to have you on tonight watching with us. Please tag, please share, invite those who are watching on Facebook and those who are watching via YouTube, make sure you subscribe because we definitely have a YouTube page. So in in the know 313 is our YouTube page. So I want you to subscribe to our um, YouTube and also you can watch us on the one TV network, which is at the one.tv. That's the one.tv. If our producer can put those um, lower thirds up, that would be great so you all can see. And also, as you can see, we're streaming on the one.tv as well. We want to get you all over there because that's a fabulous, um, um, a fabulous, uh, what's it called? Website. <laughs> Website. So I'm so excited to have you on, on tonight. We have a great show and I don't want to re um, like prolong the time but I do want to get these numbers up because my guests tonight um, I want you to be able to take part in what they are doing we unveil the greatness in you there's that subscribe go subscribe to our YouTube page at in the know 313 and that's our area code here in the uh, Detroit in the D but listen we broadcast from all over the world you can see this show all over the world we're also coming soon to lazy lay music TV television and also the app so we are expanding and I'm so excited listen in the know unveiling the greatness in you here every Monday night here at the one TV the the one w o n dot TV listen we are going to be having tonight our segments our segments so right when we come back after this a couple of more commercials I want you to get ready for the gospel truth we got something we're going to talk about tonight, and I know you all have already been hearing about it. We're not going to talk to Kadim, but we're gonna, I want to have a dialogue about some of the things that's happening even in, our, in, in, in the world and especially in the gospel world. So the gospel truth will be next. So I want you to stay tuned. I need you to tag. I need you to share. I need you to invite someone to tune in tonight. And if you don't know how to do that, just hit the share button. I have people on right now. They're actually telling you how, what to do. So you, if you can pay attention to what they're saying on your screen, then you will be able to know what to do, right? So I'm excited. So we'll be back right after this with the gospel truth. So we're bridging the gap. What we come to do is bridge those gaps. A lot of times, their people, the children are hungry, and so they struggle um, paying attention in class because of the lack of food. And so what we've done is we've partnered with local school district, local charter school, and different regions to assist in distributing food to those families.
Hey everybody, we are back. Welcome to In The Know. I'm so excited to have you here on tonight. Listen, get you some popcorn, get you a cup of water, get you all the stuff that you need so you won't have to get up for the next 30 minutes. I need my timer on today. This segment right now is gonna be about 10 minutes or less, but I wanna talk about, this is the gospel truth. So I want, I want you all, I definitely need the timer because I don't wanna go over time. So I definitely, want you guys to understand that in this segment right here, we're going to talk about something that could be a sensitive subject to some. And to me, it was just an eye opener on how, you know, sometimes we are human. We are human. And although we're in the spotlight or we're, we're, um, we have titles that, that, that doesn't negate that we are human. Um, not that we, um, we condone anything, but at the same time, we got to understand we all fall down and we get up, right? So uh, the gospel truth tonight is going to be talking about um, should Christians cuss? Should we, not should we cuss, or do we cuss? Or do, do we have moments where we lose our temper, temp, temper and we may say words that are not, um, that are not, you know, godly? Um, so we did hear the situation with Kirk Franklin. We did hear the situation with Kirk Franklin as he, uh, you know, as you all are heard, and I, I'm not not knocking and I'm not talking about him. I want to talk about the subject. Um, I, I, my heart goes out to the man of God um, and, you know, and I empathize with him and I pray for the man of God. But I want to know what do you all think about what has happened. I want to really have a dialogue about this. I had invited someone on to come with me because we were talking about it earlier and we had really great dialogue. And I've heard some of the, I've looked at the comments and I've seen many people, you know, condemning um, the man of God, you know, Kirk Franklin, you know, who's a man first. And he, he, he had a, a, he had a moment, he fell. So I know the Bible do tell us to cover one another. And, and even in a fault that we must go and cover our brother and, and begin to restore them. So I'm here to say, Kurt Franklin, if you're watching In The Know, I'm praying for you and your family because I understand, uh, you know, I'm a parent and I understand. I get upset. Have I ever cussed at my children? Yep, I sure have. But guess what? I ask God to forgive me and I'm working on myself. So for all those who may not, ooh, the prophet cuss. Listen, I am human first at the end of the day. But at the end of the day, I understand. The, I, I confess and I confess my sins. God said he's, I'm faithful to just to forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness a lot of you a lot of you and I'm not here to judge you, but I do want to see what kind of dialogue we can have about this but um, go ahead and let's see some of the comments but while we are um, watching um, looking for the comments, I want you to take a look we can't play unfortunately I don't really want to play the the um, the actual tape because it's very we can't play it because this is a Christian to, um, <laughs> network. But I do want to play um, Kirk Franklin's apology. He did he apologized and I thought that was big of him. He could have just let his publicist or somebody um, you know speak for him, but he wanted to speak for himself. And as a parent, I definitely understand where he's coming from as far as like you know he he's dealing with something and it needs to be private. So I want you guys to take a look at the um, at this clip. Many of you know I have an older son named Carrie Ann Franklin. In May, he'll be 33. For many years, we have had a toxic relationship with him as a family. We've tried for many years through counseling, through therapy, to try to rectify this private family matter. Recently, my son and I had an argument that he chose to record. I felt extremely disrespected in that conversation and I lost my temper. And I said words that are not appropriate. And I'm sincerely sorry to all of you. I sincerely apologize. I want you to know as a father that during that conversation, I called the family therapist and got that therapist on the phone to try to help. He never played that part of the recording. I'm not perfect. I'm human and I'm gonna make mistakes and I'm trying to get it right. Please keep me and my family in your prayers. So as you can see, um, he said it's a family matter that's been happening for many, many years. And what are you, what are you all saying? I want to know your opinion. I want to know, talk back to me on tonight. What do you think about, I mean, tell the truth. Do you feel like, um, I know the Bible does say be angry and sin not. Is cussing a sin? 
It's cussing a sin. It's using vulgar language of sin. I need to know somebody, all y'all Bible scholars out there. <laughs> one of my friends did send me some scriptures on um, using profanity. Is cussing a sin? Is it a sin? Is it something that we're, is unforgivable? Because um, I, I, I surely doubt it is because only sin that I know that's unforgivable is blaspheming. So if cuss is not blaspheming. So let me hear. We are not perfect, says Paulette. Anybody else want to weigh in on this? I need, if you're watching, I need you to weigh in on this because this, a lot of you, I've seen a lot of comments. I want to read a particular comment that came from a friend of mine. I'm telling you, ah, it was so many people weighing in on this subject and I was just like, wow. And like I said, my heart goes out to Kurt Franklin and his family and his son as well, because we don't, we don't know the actual situation, why, you know, why he was so upset. I know me as a parent, when I do feel disrespected, I do get upset. I ain't gonna even lie. The Bible does says be angry and sin not, but it's cussing a sin. It's cussing a sin. I need to know. Producer, it's cussing a sin. <laughs> so I want you guys, I want you guys to weigh in on this. Let me find a that is a such a deep conversation, right? So one of my friends on Facebook had me laughing so hard. So he says, um, hold up. Just to some of the saints, some of the saints was just saying some funny stuff. Um, so one guy says, Uncle Kurt Franklin cussed and blessed him because that was how he sound when he, uh, never mind, these, these new generation children will have your kidneys flare up and a few F-bombs will break every chain. <laughs> he said, I will cuss you out, take two deep breaths and pray heaven down on your behalf. I said, this one right here in the prayer. I just thought that was funny. I'm sorry. That was funny to me. You might not thought that was funny. That was hilarious. Um, that was funny. But real talk, real talk. Just, um, let me see. It's forgivable. Okay. Uh, anybody else want to weigh in on this? I can't really see all the comments. Does anybody else see the comments? Um, a lot of you, uh, a lot of people were condemning him saying, because he, he I, I do believe as in a person in a stature, I'm going to just say him, just um, in the uh, a minister, whatever you may be, um, just any, any kind of um, high regard, let's just put it like that. Um, they, we definitely all should, you know, be mindful of how we, carry ourselves um even more because we are in the spotlight we're in the spotlight so i, I god forbid you know y'all ever see me on here this going you know i'm mic hot i'm just going off like or just cussing you know that would just be bad god god forbid god forbid god forbid but i'm just saying so i just want to just say that um it's just an opportunity for us to grow. I, I believe this is probably a wake up call for him, his son, I pray. And our, our, our first posture for this whole situation should definitely be prayer, should definitely be prayer. So you guys, I can't really see any of it, really all the comments, but I did want to just kind of weigh in on this tonight and talk about why uh, would you find yourself in that situation? How many, if you would, if we were a fly on the wall in your house, admit that you have cussed at your children, your husband, your dog, your cat, your goldfish, and you ask God to forgive you. You stump your toe on the um on the table or whatever, on the end of your bed, and your first and the first thing come out of your mouth is a cuss word. I've been there. I've been there. I've I've been delivered from that stumping my toe. Now I say Jesus. <laughs> I literally Jesus comes out first. <laughs> so Jesus comes out first. But it didn't used to always be Jesus. And I was saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, speaking in tongues, sha na 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 na, speaking in tongues and all of that. But I still had an issue in my mouth, in my flesh. So I had to go on some fast. I had to I had to, you know, be cleansed. I had to go through some deliverance. I had to, you know, I, you know, watch myself and not and, not, and guess what else I had to do? I had to stop listening to things that had those words in them, right? I had to stop watching movies with those words in them, so forth and so on. So I just wanted to encourage you, Kirk Franklin. I hope you are watching. And even if your son is watching, I forgot his carry-on. I am praying for you and your family. And I really, 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 really do 
understand that you are definitely a, um, a, a man of God, but guess what? You're a human first. And I definitely know that you already have repented. I'm sure you have. I should say that I don't know because I don't know you, but I'm sure you have repented. And I'm sure God has already put that thing in the sea of forgiveness. Now, for everybody else that wants to judge and wants to act like he is this unfor it's an unforgivable sin, talking about canceling him and all that, gone somewhere with all that. They ain't even necessary. But listen, I ain't on that side of it. But I just thank God for for you all just weighing in this on, on this with me today. We're gonna come back and we're gonna have our friendly advice segment where I have one of my good friends, man, I've been knowing her for 20 plus years, and we're gonna be talking about friends that tell you the truth. How important it is for it to have a friend that will tell you the truth. Hey, this was the Gospel Truth. We'll see you back in a short second with friendly advice. I'm excited because I know what it's doing to me. And I know though, because my mind is being made right. I understand that this is gonna be a long time. I understand that endurance means prolonged suffering, prolonged, even when I'm fatigued, even when I'm stressed, even when I'm going under mental duress, I gotta keep going, I can't quit, I can't stop. Because the more I look like Christ, that Bible talk about me a little more. So with bridging the gap, what we come to do is bridge those gaps. A lot of times, their people, their children are hungry, and so they struggle um, paying attention in class because of the lack of food. And so what we've done is we've partnered with local school district, local charter school, and different regions to assist in distributing food to those families. Welcome back. Welcome back. Listen, this is In the Know, Unveiling the Greatness in You. I am your host, Chantel Michelle. I like when my um, name goes across the screen. Can we keep doing that, please? Whoop. Isn't that cool? We have one of the best producers in the world. In the world. Can you do it again? Do it again. Watch my hand. Whoop. Oh, I, 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 I was out. One. I am so excited to have you on today. Listen, I got seven minutes to get this segment done. This is Friendly Advice, Friendly Advice, F, capital F-R-I-E-N-D, <laughs> L-Y Advice, Friendly Advice. Now I have none other, and this is a segment where I have a, a, my friend, one of my friends or a few of my friends come on together and we talk about different things that we talk about, like if y'all wasn't here. So we're gonna talk about today, what is the importance of having a friend that tells you the truth. I love those kind of friends. And, and I have none other than my good friend, Rita Ribiet. She's gonna be coming on the screen in 2.2 seconds. 
There she is. Hi, Rita. <laughs> Hi, Shani. Hi. You look <laughs> fabulous. Yes, I hear a whale. <laughs> What's my hair doing right here? Somebody help this hair. <laughs> All right, so let's get going. Let's get going. Please count me down on the time. So, okay, so hey, Rita, what you doing? I am working as usual. <laughs> right, right. You look so cute. I love the way you look. I haven't seen you in person in so long. Thank Tuck you. Tuck left. Come over to the left. To the left. This way? There you go. Better, because yeah, you was kind of coming out the okay. screen. So anyway, listen, so I had asked Rita to do this, and she is camera shy, but doesn't she look amazing? Everybody say hi to Rita. Say hi. They're saying hi. They're saying hi. <laughs> hi, Rita. Hi, Rita. <laughs> hi. <laughs> she got to Oh, look, Rita, you see your, you see your, your name? You missed it. Rita. Friendly. Do advice. I see? <laughs> Friendly. Are you watching it? Wait, let me see. Oh, I see. You see? <laughs> Friendly advice. Oh, you're doing a doggone thing today, producer. All right, so real quick. So today we're talking about, so Rita, I said, I wanted you to come on the show. You like, oh, no, Shiny. She called me Shiny. And that's how, you know, she close because everybody don't know my nickname. And my nickname <laughs> is Shiny. My dad gave me that nickname. And Rita has been effectively calling me Shiny for how many years have we known each other? About 25. 25 years. Don't we look good? Almost 26, yeah. Right. Oh, my yes. God. Oh, my God. So I wanted to do this segment today and talk about, like, what is the importance of having a friend that tells you the truth? Because Rita is one of those friends that will tell you the truth. No taste. So if you don't want to know the truth, you don't call Rita. Because she's going to tell you the truth. And she's going to tell you. And listen, she's going to go to the word with it, honey. She ain't going to. She is not. And she's going to cast the devil out of you and everything. So it's so exciting <laughs> to see how you have grown and how we have grown as friends. I don't think we've ever gotten into mm -hmm. a fight. Say that again. I don't think we've ever got into it. Like we, I don't think we ever had. No, we've never had. We've never had an all-out drag-out fight. Like no. Like never we've stopped. Had, like we. Go ahead. We've had disagreements, but we haven't had drag-out fights. No, falling out. I have friends that I fall out with every two, three years, and I'll I'll talk to them for another two, three years. And, and no, we've never had that. <laughs> right, because you are yeah, because you are definitely um straight on text. So let's talk about it. Like. What, like, some of the things that people say to you about your truthfulness? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I'm just not the person to call for a whole lot of emotion. <laughs> um, I try to just keep it, like you said, strictly biblical. But when, when you said talk about being friends, you know, what it means to be a friend, I was just thinking that. Friends are very vital and crucial to your growth. When when we are going through things in life, when we're going through phases, you know, um, having a relationship with God and and growing and learning things about yourself, it's very important to have someone that's going to be honest with you. So that way you can grow. I think that's one of the biggest reflections of love. Mm -hmm. um, when, when you have a friend that really loves you, they'll tell you the truth. Um, what's more important about telling that friend the truth is telling that friend the truth in the proper timing. Mm, because even you as my friend, I've done some things and gone through some things in my life and my walk with God and in my personal growth where I actually made some mistakes. Mm -hmm. And it was important at the time depending on how low I was, right. that I didn't have to hear about all the mistakes that mm -hmm. I made. So it's important good, that a friend that. knows the timing of that truth. Right. Because sometimes if a person is in a position where they're trying to be, um, you know, grow or be built up, if you tell them the truth, they may not be able to receive it or it may bring them down even further. So what's really important is telling someone the truth in love. That's what the word tells us. He tells us to speak the truth in love. Right. So love correct in season. Right. So it's also important to make sure that when you tell them the truth, that you're not telling them the truth and taking the opportunity to tell your friends something that is going to um, Thank you. 
sidebar help them. What do right. I mean by that? Um, taking that opportunity when they're down to say, okay, I told you so, mm -hmm. you know, or didn't I mm -hmm. tell you that this was a certain particular area that you needed to work on? Nah, you know, taking that opportunity to pick. Okay. It's important to have people in your life that can love you and tell you the truth to help you grow, but do it at the right time and do it in love. And then if they see you, you know, falling or, or shaking or wavering, they can tell you the truth in love. I'm one of those people. I will yes, tell you, you know, that's, you that's not God. <laughs> that is, you know, we need to work on it. I, <laughs> I told you I wasn't going to communicate about the profanity. I didn't want to speak on it. But um, <laughs> real quick, because we got to go. But I go am ahead. one of those people. I, yes, I'll take it to the word um, when it comes to our character. You know, um, profanity, cursing, that's just a character flaw. Yeah, it's a character flaw. It's something just like you have people that lie, you mm -hmm. know, as a defense mechanism and they That's need good. God to work on them with that. That's Cursing good. is the exact same thing. Yeah. It's a character flaw. It's something that we need to have the Holy Spirit perfect inside of us. When oh, we have that freedom. personal, intimate relationship with him, okay. he will begin to bring out the different things in us that needs to be perfected. Right. But again, he does it in his timing. It's so important that we don't, as believers, condone it and say, oh, it's okay because when you get angry, you know, but it's also important as believers that we understand that God will work out things in us in and work things in us in his timing. You know, people have to be perfected in that area. So as long as we're seeking God, as long as we're trusting him and we want to grow, he'll show us the things in us that need to be corrected. And that's one of the things that he uses friends. He uses friends to do that. Yes. He'll use a friend to tell you, okay, you need to grow. Shani, you know, you've had to tell me when it comes to how I keep my word in business when it comes to telling my clients a time frame on when I'm going to be able to get something wow. done. A you real listen. friend will say, no, Rita, you know, you need to work on that area. And you mm -hmm. have, you've done that with me over the years. So in, in its perfect timing, I was able to receive it. Sometimes I didn't want to, I would make up <laughs> excuses. Well, I'm busy doing this. I'm busy right. doing that, you know, but you wouldn't let that slide. A real friend won't let everything slide and let you fall. A real friend will say, you know what? I want to see you reach your full potential. Right. I want to see you grow. I want to see you be everything that God has ordained for you to be. So I'm going to tell you, look, sis, this is an area you need to work on. So mm -hmm. as friends in my circle, we all have that understanding. Look, yes, we have to be able to sharpen right. one another. Yes. We have to be able to tell each other the truth in yeah. love, in the proper time. I title. love it. Good job, Rita. <laughs> you did so good. You didn't even want to come on. <laughs> Not that she didn't want to like be on my show. She was just like, Shani, you, yeah, Shani, but I love her so much. Rita, I love that was too. awesome <laughs> advice. And yeah, we both, you've told me certain things and it was a lot of stuff. I can't pinpoint like one thing, but oh, I never, and if she will call you, I never forget recently you had called me and I taped the record. You told me I could tape it. And it was 60 minutes of pure encouragement pure encouragement, like truth in it, truth. And it was just, I still, I, I still listen to it to this day. It blessed my soul. And so let's tell the viewers, she is an awesome businesswoman. She's actually working right now. So she like, I can get on, but I got to jump right off. I'm like, I just need you on for like ten, seven to 10 minutes. That's it. So tell the viewers let, um, what you do real quick in like maybe 30 seconds or less, what you do and how they can reach you if they need your, if they want to acquire your services. Well, I'm a certified accountant and this is tax season. So I am extremely busy in preparing tax returns. And I know I have some clients for bookkeeping and tax prep that'll probably be like, you don't have time to do this. Work on my file. So if you want um, bookkeeping, accounting services, tax prep, if you need your tax return prepared, you can always give me a call 248-722-2332 or you can visit my website 
at timelesscounty.com. I love you all. Thank you, Shani. I love you. I love you. Um, thanks for having me. And I will talk to you soon. You look absolutely great. And I'm Thank proud you. of you. And I'm excited for what God is doing in your life. Thank you so much. Same here. Love you, Rita. I'll call you tomorrow. Girl, we about to get those stimmies. We about to get those stimmies. Oh. <laughs> Everybody, make sure make sure that you um, before you go out and splurge that you have all of your uh, bills paid. That's and right. Make That's sure that you are walking in certain financial principles That's because right. I just want to give you this one little tip, Shani, if I can. Yes. Um, when I was in prayer and I was talking to the Lord about. Um, the spirit of poverty and lack and some people having financial struggles. And one thing um, I said to him, I said, you know, a lot of times when people get lump sums, they don't want to pay a bill. They don't want to pay who they owe. They want to have fun. They want to splurge on themselves or spend. You know, why, why would I pay a bill? And then a lot of times mm -hmm. people don't want to pay the bills because it's like, I don't know where my next money is coming mm. from. So I don't want to give it all to the people. I Oh, I want to have it just in case I want something that's going to be fun for me or make me feel better. And he said something so it was so clear and we already know it. But he said, when you release that money to pay who you owe, right. you open up the door for him to give you the money and the surplus that you need to have fun. Come but on. there is a spirit and there is a a barrier that comes between you and wealth when you withhold pain who you owe. So I just want to tell everybody, Ooh, don't good. feel like the money is leaving pain. your hand and it won't mm -hmm. come back when you pay your bills with the stimulus check or any income tax refunds. Pay who you owe and trust God and he will give you increase come because on. then you'll be working a principle that will bring wealth to you and break off lack and poverty. Come on. I love you guys. That was there it. you go. Friendly advice. You heard it right here first. Rita Walk. Oh, excuse me. Ribia. Excuse me. Rita <laughs> Ribia. Timeless accounting. Timeless accounting. Look her up. She's on Facebook. If you need to get in touch with her, just call me too. I got you. I got you. She got you. All right. Let's go to the next next segment. When we come back, see you, Rita. Thank you. When we come back, we're going to have our first guest, our first guest all the way from Texas, all the way from Texas. Her name is Apostle Shana White Smith. You want to be connected to this woman, a guy I connected with her. I believe it was last year through another mutual friend and we connected and we have been doing some marvelous things in ministry and she's a marketplace. She's in the marketplace. And also she is, has a phenomenal event coming up and I will be a part of it in Atlanta. So we're going to talk about that. We'll be right back. Esther's Closet. Shop Esther's Closet, LLC. One-of-a-kind kimono, versatile styling, and easy-to-care-for Christian-based online store. You can shop Esther's Closet, LLC, where you will find designs for the woman walking in her purpose. You can contact us at theblessedesther49 at gmail.com. Shop Esther's Closet, LLC, for that woman walking in her purpose. Shop Royal Bling, where everyone feels royal. You can find the latest in bling merchandise at royalblingshop.com. You will find Boss Lady, Man of War, I Am King, Closing Deals with Heels, Faith Over Fear, and all of your designer masks and much, much more. Make sure you go to royalbleenshop.com. Hi, my name is Kay Reddy. I am the state broker at Southern Realty Michigan. As a professional, not only do I focus on selling homes, but I create an unforgettable experience for my clients. Have you considered selling your home? Here is why now is the perfect time to do so. The market is at an all-time high 
and your home may be worth more than you believe. But it doesn't stop there. You may be an investor or considering purchasing a home. Give me a call today for your free home evaluation. I can handle all of your real estate needs. Hey everybody, welcome back to In The Know. I am your host, Chantel Michelle. Oh. <laughs> live, only on live. And I am so excited that you all are here on tonight. Please tag, please continue to share. If you're on YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube page, In The Know 313. Thank you for all the sponsors. We have sponsors, y'all. Listen, we've been doing this short for about four years off and on, but I'm here to tell you this is the set time. We actually have sponsors, people, sponsored ads. So all the ads that you see, you probably say she's showing commercials and stuff. That's because people, we gotta pay the bills up in here, up in here. So let me tell you, I'm so excited for our sponsors, Esther's Closet LLC. We have RoyalBlingShop.com. We have um, K Ready with um, um, Ready Realty and also, we have EKM, um, Elohim Kingdom Ministries, where I um, worship, um, also sponsoring our show on tonight. And everything that's to attached to them, as you can see in that commercial, they um, we are they have a plethora of, 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 of opportunities for you to, to be and uh, give and also to be a part of um, our ministry through so many avenues. That's what I'm trying to say. So I'm so excited. Even the little host hair and wigs. We are so excited to have you as our sponsors. And if you would like to be a sponsor, please email us at in the know Detroit at gmail.com. Listen, we're getting ready for a, another show, so a series of shows that we're going to showcase businesses. If you have a business, we want to showcase your business, like right where you will come and I will interview you and you will be able to um, um, have a segment where we talk about your business and and even if you have cooking we're going to do a cooking I'm, I'm taking my producer all the way to the top with all these ideas that God has given me we're going to have a cooking show we're going to have fashion shows on here all of that because I'm so excited all right so let me get to the next part this segment right now we're getting to our guests so here's the part we have two guests on we've been talking about the balance all month long how and, and this month being women's history month i've been featuring women women who are balancing ministry they're balancing being a wife they're balancing some single some in waiting um some are balancing career and business some are balancing five six seven children one child two child three child whatever they're balancing dogs cats um um everything but let me tell you they're doing it so well with the grace and poise that God has given them and I've I had an opportunity to to um, each segment to to feature two amazing phenomenal women and tonight I have a young lady that's from Austin Texas and I met her a few uh, about a year or so ago and ever since I met her I've seen her thrive and I've seen her uh, and I've heard her testimony it's amazing and I just want you um, to welcome to in the know my friend and sister in Christ none other than Apostle Shana White Smith. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, can you hear me? I can hear you. You look great, look at you. <laughs> can you move to the right just a little bit for me? To the right, there you go, perfect, perfect. No, go back the other way. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. You looking good. You looking good, Apostle. Come on, y'all. Let me see who's on. We are Apostle. Apostle Shana White Smith. She is from Austin, Texas, right, Shana? Austin, Texas. I'm originally, Texas. From, I'm originally from Mississippi. Oh, wow. How long have you been in Austin? 11 years. Awesome. I, I love Austin, Texas. It's like one of, I visited there, visited there a few years ago and I love that place. So let's get to it. Let's talk about, we've been talking about the balance, um, um, Apostle. And I've, I've seen you, listen, Apostle, you've been getting it in with your lives and I love it. I love it. You get on there and you give the word of God and you talk and you show us your life. And so let's talk a little bit. Tell the people really quick, like who is Apostle Shana Smith? Let's start with like, where have you like where did you like grow up you said memphis right memphis 
Memphis. Yes, yes. So were you always saved? Were you were you always an apostle? No, I started off in ministry um, at the age of 23, um, at 23 years old. Um, I received my call at that age of 23. At 12 years old, um, I was exposed to ministry, but I did not start walking in ministry until the age of 23. So I've been in ministry over 20 some years. And so um, it has been a uh, catapult um, into different um, um, landfills in the ministry and learning how to uh, um, be diverse. Yeah, Amen. Totally wow. So when you say diverse, what what does that mean? Is that because I know you have you have kingdom talk. Well, let's go back. Have yeah. you always been saved? Did you always walk as a saved woman of God? <laughs> what did God deliver what? you from? <laughs> I came from the, you know, I I came from a um, two parent home. I, I um, my parents got divorced when I was twelve years old, wow. and so I was exposed to um, having a single mother, and so I came from that experience. And coming out of high school, I went into a, being an entrepreneur, and so okay. I went from an entrepreneur, and I also was exposed to street life. And so, um, was I lived and say the whole time? I think I, you know, as a lot of us, we ignore the voice of God, but mm -hmm. um, having the calling and not living saved is two different things. And so, right. um, I really started walking in the things of God when I got exposed to the Word of God. And so, no, I have not always been saved, but I've been walking in salvation. Amen. So, so when you, I know that's right, Apostle. Same here. When you um, say entrepreneurship, what what part of what what field? What field? What was your business? Um, I, I was a um, um, salon owner. I came right out of hair school, uh, worked in the salon with my auntie for years. And then I also worked in the, uh, with my ex-mother-in-law for years. And so at the age of 24, I opened my first salon in the business almost 14, 15 years, um, having two locations um, in Memphis. So I was a um, full-time business owner um, and also walking in ministry. Wow. Do you have any children? I have three children. Okay. Okay. So you yes. was you was a, a business owner and you were balancing that, balancing ministry, yes. balancing were you married at the time? I was married. I've been married, um, divorced and married again. Amen. Come on, amen. <laughs> I love it. So being a wife, being a mother, being in business, ministry. And so how would you say that, that at that time, because I'm we're gonna fast forward to now, how would we how would you say at that time that you balance you know, ministry, owning two salons. Now we have a, our s stories are very similar. I am a licensed hairstylist as well, and I own a salon before. So that is awesome. I didn't. Wow, I remember you saying that, and um, yeah. and and you coming out of um hair school straight to the salon, but you two salon. I didn't have two salon. One was enough, honey. It was oh lord. But but how did you actually balance that and being in ministry and being married and having children? I think you have to um, know the direction that you're going in yes. um, to keep balance. You cannot have um, without having a vision. You cannot be um, having a having a vision. You cannot go without being disciplined. Ooh, you have to find part. out what your um, idea is or where you're going. And so when I came out of hair school, went straight into the hair, going to from high school to hair school. I understood what I wanted to do. So it was not hard for me to walk into that place of being a business owner, but also learn how to also be a follower when it comes to business. you got to have people around you that will um, fine tune who you are in the business. And so um, how I balance it is being married the first time, you know, you can have the family, but you get to also keep your eyes on the purpose that God set before you. Wow, what an awesome example you are of yeah. balancing that. And so now you went through your life trials and everything. Now you are yeah. in full-fledged ministry. Yeah. Talk yeah. about it. Let's talk about some of the things that you're doing in ministry right now. Diamond in the Rough, Deliverance Outreach Ministry. Yes. Well, you know, um, I, I, when I first started off um, walking into the things of God, I first started doing motivational speaking at the high school. Um, that was one of my things I did with mentoring um, young adults. And so as I um, moved into um, what God was calling me to, I was a part of a ministry for seven years and also worked in the children's church ministry. So I knew how to function wow. in the um, capacity that God was calling me to. And when God exposed me to my ministry, I was able to um, walk into it, um, outreach um, is what God was calling me to. So um, I 
purpose of um, what God was calling me. He had to open up some doors to get me to trend set and to set in places and set up under leaders. And I think that's one thing that's important to understand your position in ministry. Absolutely, absolutely. So you understanding your position in ministry, you are doing some amazing things in ministry. I've been watching you ever since I've known you for this past year, and I'm so excited to be connected to you, woman of God. You are, now I see why your hair be different styles, because you are a stylist. I get it now, I get it. Your hair be so cute. I was like, um, look, when you came on, oh, the, the producer said, oh, she pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have no ugly friends. I don't know. Or he said you tell it on me. Well, I mean it's true. Hey man, you can give compliments. You look amazing though, Apostle. Let's talk about real quick. We have an event coming up, and I want to make sure we talk about this. An event coming up in, in Atlanta, March 26th through the 27th. Um, the mandate that God's giving you for revival. Man, you are a little fireball, and I love it. Let's talk about that event because we um we our time is up. But I really appreciate you um coming on tonight and expressing and letting people see who you are and to know who you are. Everybody follow my friend, uh, Apostle Shana White Smith connect with her right here on Facebook um she's on are you on Instagram I am on Instagram okay. it's I'm Diamond Shana Ministries okay I am Diamond Shana Ministries and that stuff yeah. should be on the screen in a minute let's talk about the event um on in, coming up in a couple of weeks amen well it is next week amen yes. oh yeah next week about the conference, but um, it's a conference, and my name is Revival. Is Ephesians chapter four is living the life worthy of your calling. I Ooh. think we have the opportunity um, as leaders um, to experience the Word of God. We don't walk the Word of God; we just talk it. We don't live it. And so, um, my name is Revival Conference. Is in Atlanta, Georgia. Is an opportunity for people to really um, to get in tune to what God is saying, of walking what they understand through the Word of God. The Bible says we cannot be just hearers of the word but doers of the word mm -hmm. and so I think this conference is going to be to expose people to healing and deliverance mm -hmm. and I definitely people won't just come in just shouting but it will be an experience um, to get closer intimate with God amen Wow, March 26, 27 in Atlanta. Go, here's the, there's the flyer. Thank you so much. Don't we all look amazing on there? God is good, but guess what? God be glorified through this, through the vessels that he's going to use. Um, and we want you to be there. If you're in the Atlanta area, um, if anywhere close, even if you're not, if you're in Michigan, where a lot of people are traveling with us. I am, um, on the, um, as a uh, empowerment speaker um, on that Saturday. Thank you, Apostle, for the invite. I am honored, I am humbled. Thank you for your mission. Thank you for your drive. Thank you for your commitment to the mandate that God has on your life. And I'm so excited to have be a part of this great event. So if you need more information, make sure you stay tuned um, and, and, and follow Apostle Shana White Spears. Thank you so much, Apostle. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me on. You're welcome. Have a blessed night. I'll, I'll see you later. We fasting, y'all. <laughs> Amen. So let's go. Let's go. We have another guest. We're going to go to like one more commercial. And then we have another guest, Esther's Closet, LLC. Kimono, versatile styling. Okay. Let's care for a Christian-based online store. You can shop Esther's Closet, LLC where you'll find designs for the woman walking in her purpose. You can contact us at theblessedesther49 at gmail.com. Shop Esther's Closet LLC for that woman walking in her purpose. Shop Royal Bleed, where everyone feels royal. You can find the latest in bling merchandise at royalblingshop.com. You will find Boss Lady, Man of War, I Am King, Closing Deals with Heels, Faith Over Fear, and all of your designer masks and much, much more. Make sure you go to royalblingshop.com. Hi, my name is Kay Reddy. I am the state broker at Fathom Realty Michigan. As a professional, not only do I focus on selling homes, but I create an unforgettable experience for my clients. Have you considered selling your home? Here is why now is the perfect time to do so. The market is at an all-time high 
and your home may be worth more than you believe. But it doesn't stop there. You may be an investor or considering purchasing a home. Give me a call today for your free home evaluation. I can handle all of your real estate needs. Hey, well, everybody, welcome back. Welcome back to In The Know. Please keep sharing, please keep sharing, please keep sharing. This I want you all to see on tonight, this next guest. Oh, we thank you so much for everyone that's been on so far. All those that have tuned in tonight, we appreciate you coming every Monday night at 8 p.m. watching us and tagging and sharing and getting people to come watch. Listen, we will soon be on a syndicated television network and also on the one tv we're gonna be streaming all that netflix all all that we're gonna call it out all right so i have another guest on tonight and i'm so excited to have her on she's also a client of rich girl marketing uh, solutions um and i um, I'm, I'm so happy to have her on tonight she is an amazing she is amazing. She is amazing, an amazing woman of God, and she's an amazing designer. And tonight, none other, you've seen a commercial, none other than Esther's Closet LLC, the owner of Esther's Closet LLC, Roxanne Williams. Good evening, Roxanne. Yeah. Good evening, Chantel. How, how are you? I'm doing great. Good, I'm good, good. Great. I'm so glad to have you on tonight. You look fab. Like, Come on. Thank you. Listen, we always have something that we do. It's called fashion forward. And that is like, I see something that you have on and you got to let the, and I'm, I'm going to point it out. I'm going to say the shoes. You got to let the viewers know <laughs> where you got them shoes, honey. Cause them shoes is high. I, we can't even get the shoe. I, oh, you got them. Get them shoes, honey. Okay. He said, give them 20 <laughs> seconds. These shoes. I mean, she got the, that's one of my favorite colors you have on too, the burgundy. Oh, okay. Yeah. So fashion forward means that you have to let the, pay it like pay it for, you have to let the viewers know where you got them shoes, girl. And her toes, she's sharp. She's sharp. She's sharp. She, sharp. <laughs> she said she was coming correct. Did you get the shoes, producer? Okay. Oh, okay. Do you see? Look at that. Come on, camera. How does he got a remote camera with that? That's scary, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Your shoes are fab. You look amazing, Roxanne. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so we're gonna while he's getting the shoes, y'all. Yes, welcome, Roxanne Williams of Esther's Closet LLC, where she is a fashion designer and she sews all her garments herself, yes. her herself. And you don't get that. Okay, see them shoes? Yes, honey. Yes, and her toes done. Yes, there you go. Yes, you see the shoes. Look at the shoes. Look at the shoes. So, oh, wait, where did you get those? Would you tell us? I got these shoes from Foreman Mills. You, I'm over it. So I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Shut the show down. Foreman Mills got Foreman shoes Mills. like that? They, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. I am so excited about your shoes and this you've been on the show at overall. So let's get started because we have a little, I want to make sure people understand who you are and what you do. So Esther's Closet, let's talk about it. How did the concept come up for Esther's Closet? How long have you been sewing? Um, I've been sewing a, about 10 years now. Okay. Yeah. What made years. you start sewing? Something that your mom taught mm -hmm. you? you? Well, uh, you know, uh, it was a time when they taught home ec and all that this stuff is in true. school. And mm -hmm. so I took sewing as a part of um, class in junior high school. My grandmother sewed, my great grandmother sewed. Okay. So it's something I had an interest in. Okay. And um, it was a hobby at first. Um, I put it down. And then some years ago, going to church, and I saw some women, they had the same suits on. And I was like, you know what? I, that's not happening to me. <laughs> 
I am not gonna walk in this door <laughs> and I'm gonna be dressed like somebody. That's you funny. know how we are. <laughs> yes, yes. We want to be unique. Yes. And so uh I started making my own clothes. Really? And um it just took off from there. Wow. That's how we met. I'm gonna say I was just about to say I met um I wanna call her Esther, but her company's called Esther's Closet. I met Roxanne, she made my bridesmaids dresses for my um wedding and they they all the girls were different shape different so they wanted a different style dress but a different mm -hmm. color i mean but the same color and um i wish i had that picture the dresses are fab too i hope they hope y'all still got them <laughs> <laughs> even though the marriage didn't last it's okay the it's dresses okay. do <laughs> so so you have been sewing and and you um contacted me and we had kind of lost touch and um, I remembered you when you had contacted me a few weeks ago and you had said, I've been watching you on, you know, in the know, what's mm -hmm. in the know. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, needless to say, um, it's a, it's a talk show that I have that I feature, um, people such as yourself, businesses, and also this great stories. And uh, it's called unveiling the greatness in you. So today we're unveiling the greatness in you. Okay. Your hands can sew, honey. Let me tell y'all something. Um, she began to, um, just tell me that, you know, she wanted to, to, some help getting, um, getting out there. So mm -hmm. we, we are taking our company or we are taking her, um, we're, we're, we're branding her. And so tonight yes. we're going to show you some of her pieces. Now tell me what you've been doing since the last time we met or we saw each other rather. What have you been doing and what you've been getting into? And I love that. Come on, you got to, I want that one. Um, just, uh, well, I had put sewing aside. Really? Yeah, for a minute. Okay. And got a job. Okay. I Makes needed sense. I've been to. Here. I had a space, mm -hmm. and um, due to some circumstances, I had to leave. Okay. So I just had to put everything in storage and kind of just regroup. Yeah. I, it it was just a, a rough time. You know how you go mm -hmm. through different seasons. Right. And that was a season that I just needed to rest from that. For you a was while. finding your balance. Yeah. You was finding your balance. Yeah. Because yeah. so, you were um, married. Yes, I'm you have married. children. I have children, and you're in ministry, and I'm in ministry. Yes, and, and you, I have a job, and you have a and, job, and I have a business, and you have a business. Yes, a beautiful establishment where you get, where you where you do your sewing at. Thank you. So, thank you. so that balance right there, you you have to find yourself. That's a good way to regroup. Is to I mean to balance is to go back and sit back and like I had to do the same thing and sit back and like look at everything and ask God for direction. Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. Even since we reunite, I've seen like such a <laughs> tremendous like change. Like not that it was bad or anything, but you mm -hmm. were at a place where you like I don't know what to do. Like yeah. I want to put this together. I don't want to work. This is not what I was called to do, but I'm doing it only now. I understand? Yes. I definitely understand. Yeah. So just to see where you at. I mean, honey, yes, <laughs> honey, you giving me life with your outfit. So now here we are, and you're doing what now with your business? I am just moving so, God is moving yes. so fast, you know, and I just look at it like, you know, we don't understand the times and the seasons mm -hmm. in our life. Right. And we just have to go with it. And now is a, is, is a push. I'm moving so fast and it's, I changed my mind. Yes. That Come was on. one thing. Yes. You know, I little sleep yes. in the morning. <laughs> I'll be on there. I'll be sleep dozing sometimes, but I'm, I'm like, I got to get my, <laughs> got to get it, got to get it. Right. So yeah, I changed my mind. I said, you know, I have to stop looking at this differently. I would, I have a girlfriend, she's in business in Tennessee, and mm -hmm. you know, we always talk about entrepreneurship, and we would get on the phone every day saying, you know, I don't know what I'm doing, I can't do this, this is so hard. Mm. And I just started saying, you know what, I'm gonna meet every challenge, right? and God is gonna get us yes. through this, and I changed my mind, and when I changed my mind, Everything just started Come opening on. up. Wow. I got me an employee now. Come on. When she told me yes. she got an employee, I, I said, come on, God. Yes, yes. So I'm, I'm so, so excited. I'm, I'm so, so excited for you. Um, I've been called a destiny helper. And I'm a horn. I'm a, I'm a going to take that. Claim it, girl. <laughs> I'm a claim. Because I said, Roxanne, you got to get on this. We got a thing yes. that we get on in the morning and it helps us be mentally renew our mind through the power of the word and dislike minded people. That's yes. powerful. Yes. But I don't want this segment to end before we get to see some of what you're doing. So you are making these 
fabulous pieces. If you could throw up some of the um, pictures, producer, real quick, because I know we're pressing time. Look, oh, okay, I see. I like how you did. You know what? <laughs> When I see you, I'm going to give you a hug. <laughs> Do you see the kimonos? What are, talk about these pictures here. These pictures, you know, let me tell you about Esther. Esther Let's talk about it. had to go through some purification. My God. And the other day, the Lord told me, he said, you had to be Esther mm. in order for this thing to really birth out and you to come full circle. Mm -hmm. And that was so amazing come to on, me. Come on, God, talk. You know, uh, Esther was assigned some some people to her mm -hmm. to help her through this purification. Mm -hmm. And I was assigned some people. Some of this assignment was not like, oh, these are sprinkle dust and, you know, <laughs> fairy, right, fairy, fairy dust. Tingle. No, it, <laughs> it was some people that was graining against me mm. that helped me to to grow. And so that is the concept behind Esther. Wow. You know, Esther is a woman that walks in her purpose. Right. You know, and she's okay with it. Yes. She's okay with the things that got her to where she is. Wow. My goodness. So, so kimonos are what, that's only one facet That's only of one it. facet. One facet of it. So we're going to show you all some more. Y'all saw the picture and we're going to show y'all some live demonstration of her kimonos. These kimonos are so cute. Can you stand up and this yeah. real quick? This, are you going to oh. be able to, is she going to be able to stand up? Maybe not. Okay. 30 seconds. Okay. But you know what? If we um, produce, if we can go, just go to commercial, and we all gonna be standing when we come back, cause I wanna, um, I wanna show. I'll sit down. And I'm gonna have her and one of the models come in. All right, so we'll be back in 2.2 seconds, cause we wanna show you some of her work in these ph phenomenal kimonos. They are so comfortable, so cute, and we have some live models here, so we have like a mini um, fashion, fashion show. show. All right, we'll be right back. Shop Esther's Closet, LLC. One-of-a-kind kimonos, versatile styling, and easy to care for Christian baby online store. You can shop Esther's Closet, LLC, where you'll find designs for the woman walking in her purpose. You can contact us at theblessedesther49 at gmail.com. Shop Esther's Closet, LLC, for that woman walking in her purpose. Esther's Closet, LLC. One-of-a-kind kimono, versatile styling, and easy to care for christian baby online store. You can shop Esther's Closet, LLC, where you'll find designs for the woman walking in her purpose. You can contact us at theblessedesther49 at gmail.com. Shop Esther's Closet, LLC, for that woman walking in her purpose. y'all right, we are back and we are here with um roxanne williams we was just talking to her real quick about her designs here at esther's closet and listen i y'all saw the pictures can you put some pictures up again because i looked at you <laughs> <laughs> You did, Chantel. You did. <laughs> Honey, I was giving y'all life on these pictures. Okay, let me stop. Let me digress. But listen, that one right there, I'm actually getting both of them actually. So I got to get my, my STEMI coming. So I'm back okay. on to it up. <laughs> <laughs> So we have two models here with us on today. Oh, girl, give me. Oh, wow. This camera. Okay, anyway. um, So come on, um, ladies. I want to try to. Oh, here we go. So come on up. Come on up. So what do we have here? Talk about this one here. Turn this way. Don't come too close. Come right here. There you go. And then step right there to the back. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right. There you go. All right. This is Destiny. And she's wearing, I, you know, I haven't named them. I have someone that puts my that website together cute. and they uh, name them. But this is like a... What material is that? Like, it's like a... Uh, Turn around for us, babe. Like a netting type material. It's cute. Mm -hmm. It's a little stretchy. 
you know, and it's so versatile. She can she just threw this on. She was just wearing this at first, and I said, "Well, here, put that on with that." And wow! It just, it and just, it gave it, it a whole different look. look. It does. It gives you a little it's oomph to really it. Smile, girl. You look fab. <laughs> and then we have Mariah, and Mariah is wearing the I call this the like sky blue. Yes, and cute. it's really pretty. And you see, you can put wear it with some jeans. Yes, and if she wanted to go out somewhere, she can throw on some heels or something and just twirl, really baby. They said twirl. Twirl girl. <laughs> Twirl girl. They really just dress it up. Yeah. Wow. So these kimonos are one of a kind, right? Yes, they one are. One of a kind. So we, we won't see five of these no, running around the street. No, you will not see five of these running around the street. Yep. You know, another thing is, you know, with the summertime coming up, it can be a swimsuit cover. Honey. Yes. I'm yes. getting me five of them. <laughs> I'll be on the beach this summer. <laughs> Wait, let's check out yours. Look at this one. Okay. Man, that do a swirl. Do a swirl. Swirl around. Yay. Y'all can stay in the camera. That's what it's here for. Awesome. What a beautiful design. Listen, if you want to get in touch with, let me get over here. If you want to get in touch with Esther, um, excuse, I'll call her Esther. I'm just going to call her Esther. It's the name of the business. Esther's Closet, the owner, you need to reach out to her at Esther's Closet, L Esther's dot, say your website. www.esthers-closetllc.com. That's it. And also you can reach her at 313-778-4726 uh, or our website, I'm sorry, our email, email. is blessedesther49 at gmail.com. Blessedesther49 at gmail. If you want to get these fabulous, y'all girls, come, 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 come. Look at you. Y'all look so nice. <laughs> Esther's Closet, LLC. Go get your kimonos and you can be a woman walking in, in your, your purpose. purpose. Absolutely. All right, y'all. We'll be back for the ending of the show. But that's it. Esther's Closet LLC. The models, y'all look amazing. Mariah and Destiny, right? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited that this happened tonight. You got to get you a kimono. I'm going to have like. I'm gonna give me one for my swimsuit. I'm getting one for dinner, my dates, and all that. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. We'll see you all next time. We're not done. We're gonna end in a minute. But go ahead and go to the stinger, and we'll be back. You can stay here. You can stay. Y'all, that's our show for tonight. We are here every Monday night at 8 p.m. Listen, see my girl, es Esther's Closet LLC, Miss Roxanne Williams. Yes. Get your fabulous kimono. Get ready for the summer. Get ready for the winter, spring, summer, and fall. Check out her commercial. It's, she's one of our sponsors, too. She sponsors this show. Y'all need to check her out. Yes. Check her out now. I mean it. Go now. Go now. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. We'll see you next week on In The Know. We have two more guests. You don't want to miss it. I'll see you next week. Shop Esther's Closet, LLC. One of a kind kimono, versatile styling, and easy to care for Christian based online store. You can shop Esther's Closet, LLC where you will find designs for the woman walking in her purpose. You can contact us at theblessedesther49 at gmail.com. Shop Esther's Closet, LLC, for that woman walking.